In Metro Manila, hospitals are overflowing with COVID patients. But here's the problem. Not everyone needs to be there in the first place. Health experts are stressing the need to make room for COVID patients that need critical care. Nagpapanik kasi sila eh. Kaya diretso ng diretso sa ER, napupuno po tayo. Hmm. Pagka mild or asymptomatic, dapat sa quarantine facility or the mega facilities. This has been government policy since August last year when the Department of Health set up the One Hospital Center and Oplan Kalinga. Unfortunately, the implementation has been sketchy at best. The Private Hospitals Association says 98% of their patients are mild or asymptomatic and could be treated with just paracetamol and cough syrup in quarantine facilities. But moving mild or asymptomatic patients is a tough call. It is real, uh, really more difficult for private hospitals to do that because more or less, th these are you know private patients. At the Santa Ana Hospital in Manila, Four out of every 10 COVID patients are mild to asymptomatic, yet COVID patients are already spinning out into tents. Beds are in short supply. Some are using lawn chairs and wheelchairs. There are a lot of patients from our side who are mild, and we would transfer to uh, quarantine. We could take this. Yeah, because they're full also. There are 14 quarantine facilities in Manila. Some of them are also beyond 100% occupancy. The Manila local government have added 300 more beds. They plan to turn 30% of motels and hotel rooms to quarantine facilities. In the end, the government needs to improve its one-hospital command system so COVID patients know where to go and where not to go. Local governments also set up their incident command where it would be that the patients, no, the traffic of patients will be managed from the local governments triaging them, telling them where you are supposed to go. This isn't just a matter of transferring patients from one center to another, but also about giving people the right information so they know where to go in the first place. Because remember, prevention is always better than cure. I'm Jacob Lazaro and we're One News.